Humongous shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and I'm with Sister Jean. My, your best friend, friend. Yeah, James best Charles. friend James Charles. I'm um, a really good friend to have. <laughs> But today, I thought I would do another video with you on my channel because we did one before that was yeah, really, really good where we redid your. Work. We did the one in your room where I made your quilt. Yes, um, my kitty quilt. And he still actually has it on his bed, which is nice. You're probably gonna see that in the room tour that he uploaded today, actually, or not the room tour, the house tour. Yeah. You uploaded a whole house tour today, which I'm gonna link below in case you guys do want to look at it and you don't happen to follow James, which you probably already do. I moved into a beautiful house a few months ago, and it's been mm -hmm. amazing. Drew is literally over every single yeah, day, and it's time. pretty fun, pretty fresh, pretty funky. Not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. And in Interior design is one of my biggest passions. I absolutely love it, but I'm working all the time. It takes time, so much work too. It's a lot to yeah, do it. The most. So I just did an amazing collaboration with Mr. Kate, where we, we basically love did, Mr. Kate. We do. We're Mr. Kate. We're here. We'll take a look at your place. We'll stop by for a while. We'll help you find your style. We'll laugh and we'll paint, Mr. Kate. We're redecorating the entire house and we just finished but there's one room left that we didn't even bother to touch Because it's like kind of the guest room that whoever's like staying here stays yeah. in Yeah, but my parents stay there when they come to visit. It's just kind of like a room that was Like just left just like left. there's like a bed in it and that's really all yeah, which, which is, is fine No, it's but sad. I mean it's, it's sad, but it now we're gonna fix it. Now we're gonna make fix it, it unsad. Yeah. I have like a design for it, which I'm gonna show James. Like I've already pulled up all these photos and a color palette and a mood board, just to be professional. You're a professional Mr. designer. Kate Mr. Kate is shaking. Like she is just quivering. Just, yeah, she's doing fine. She's okay. doing much better than not me. So if you want to see Drew make over my guest room, stay keep tuned. On watching. Before we go shopping, we're gonna do a little practice runway walk. We have Jake on the piano over there. I'm the editor. <laughs> So this is the before of the room that I'm going to be redoing and it's like really a good room There's so many windows in here so much natural light. So this is what it looks like um, There's a humongous bed here. It's like a California King So it's very large and it's on this back wall here, which I feel like it needs to Probably stay on this back wall random chair James's old desk is here Which is gonna probably be taken out and then this floor-length mirror which probably is gonna go in the corner facing outward There's a lot of white space in here and uh, yeah I think there's a lot of possibility too, which is nice and I have some ideas which I'm gonna share with you guys on the screen now. These are some inspiration photos that I pulled from Pinterest. The idea that I thought would be fun for this room because there is so much white space is to actually have the bedding be like very dark and like textured, like the bedding be the main focal point of the whole room. Typically I have white bedding all the time, so I'd have it more dark and just like very like interesting on the bed and then have like the decor pieces be a little bit more subdued and like in there, you know? So that's kind of the overall vibe of the space. So, okay, so what we're actually thinking is <laughs> nightstand here, oh. nightstand over there. Some wall art here. Some wall art there. A light up there. A light up there will look can, so... Yeah, no, no. It, we have to. That will literally make the room look the best. And then, like, True. mirror in the corner there. Maybe, like, a smallish thingy under here, but it doesn't have to be. Every night in my dream. What is this shirt, though? <laughs> that looks like a good Gucci bench. So we're currently in Target looking for items. We were literally here one day ago with Mr. K, I swear. So this is just like a like a reworked. That is a good basket. That's not it. Oh, it's not. Hmm. Oh, do we need that? Yes. I think we do. This one wasn't here last time. This is good for our gray bed. We just put together this right here. Well, not we need like an actual good leaf in there. Yeah, true. That's such a good vessel. I love the word vessel. <sighs> Imagine this good beef sleep and it's curved a little. Like this. For minimal aesthetic touch. Yeah. Too big. I think the first one was better. That's too. Ew. No, look at it. That's so chic. We do need this. I, I can already tell. Mm, James, you have to trust my aesthetic. Please, we're looking for bedding, dark bedding, of course, to match that aesthetic that we're going for. 
And then found this dark gray blanket, some king size pillows, and then so far we have this amount of stuff, but we definitely need more options. Our cart is good and packed. Eldon is pushing for a real one. And this is what it looks like so far. We all love a good neutral turn. Really do. It's That's so good. It really is. It's good. I'm so ugly today. Can't relate. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Don't ever. <laughs> Beautiful. I am so famous. I'm the most rich of all. Oh, this is a good black clock to layer. Oh, 20% off clocks. Sleeping on the job. Sorry. Wake up, I said. We are now in Home Goods looking for pillows and other random things. That was your fault. That was not. This looks even better in the video, I swear. Really? So good. Yeah, I love it. Uh, how much is it? Thousand. Who else would a thousand dollars on that? That's not even that cute. Is yeah, it is. It's good. No. You're the richest, so it's fine. Come on. Let me live my design fantasy. No. Come on. That's ridiculous. Please. Okay, it's $129. <laughs> I can't believe you thought this was a thousand dollars from Home Goods. And we're thinking this one. This is very. This was very us. This is very us. Yeah. So maybe this one. This one also just so good too. Yeah, that one is really. Oh, it's a stream. So it is finally the day that I'm redoing the room. So it's actually been about a week and a half since going shopping and James went to London for like a week. So I wasn't able to do the room while he was gone and I'm now doing it back while he's back, of course. But I'm not gonna let him actually see the room. I thought it would be fun just to do like a miniature surprise even though he does know like a large portion of the pieces that we bought since we went shopping together. He doesn't exactly know where things are gonna be placed. So I'm just gonna place them where I feel and like Oh well. I did also go to Ikea. I'm not sure if I really filmed that much of that, but I got a lamp or a hanging light. I got um, two nightstands that I wanted to get, the same ones that I actually have in my room back in LA. And today's actually the day that we're gonna be putting the room together, which I'm so excited for. I mentioned that I want the bed to be the focal point of the room. Again, throwing up some inspo pics so you guys can get an idea of kind of what my brain is thinking at the moment. I really want the bed to be dark and like textured and just very interesting because the room's pretty small and the bed here is a California King so it kind of takes up a large portion of the room I mean it's not too small but it is a huge bed in a smaller room bedding is not very mm, appealing it's not very steamed but you know what we're gonna have to live with that. Just over here stuffing a couple of pillows. We actually got new pillows for this bed because a lot of people don't know, but there actually are two sizes of pillows. Like this is a king size pillow, which is like a standard size for a king bed. Normal size pillows and then return them and be like, they don't fit. Oh, wow. I love when my camera does that. But yeah, I'm stuffing these with the really pretty, like super, super light gray colored um, pillow cases that match the sheet set. And then I also have some of the dark gray ones. Um, so I'm gonna just do a lot of layered pillows to really give the bed like a ton of like interest. These are all the throw pillows we bought. So we're done with the base of the bed and I think that these grays complement each other so nicely. This one's just such a subtle like off gray color. Some throw pillows, a black linen one, this gray velvet one, tons of shades of gray. So this gray one, this one's from Ikea with like a little texture in it. I just tried to get pillows that had a lot of different textures. It did take me a little while to experiment with the pillows, but they look so pretty. All these tones of gray with the dark and then like the really dark over here and then there's a little peep of dark back there. The nightstands that I picked up are these ones. Um, whatever that says, I can't even read it. Selji, and these are the most affordable nightstands ever at Ikea. You guys, I think they're like $29 each and they are so cool because first of all, they're aluminum and on top of that, they kind of have like this angular element to it that I really like. So I'm going to open them. I got two of them. <clears throat> Beautiful! This 
what I meant. You see how it's kind of angular? Unlike myself, can't relate. Okay, I'm actually so into the white on white, and I think once I add just like a couple of decorative elements or like a lamp or something to this, it's really gonna make it like pop, you know? So there's gonna be one over there, and then I'm gonna construct the other one to go right there. Oh my, oh, we had a special guest arrive. Oh wow, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> so these little nightstand lights have been sitting in James's bathroom for literally like a year, like since he moved here. Well, not a year, I guess, like six months. And I think I wanna use them on each nightstand because James is literally not using them. They've been in his bathroom, serving no purpose in the corner. So I wanna put these on each side. Okay, so it's come time to hang this light, which this is the one that I got at Ikea. It's all with things. Okay. Oh, that's a sprinkler. Oh my God. That's a sprinkler, right? Yeah. Oh, how could that be a sprinkler? We have this piece, which is going to go right underneath the three windows here. Okay, so this styled bookshelf turned out incredible. I think it looks so pretty and so good. Here I am, guys, still working away, but I kind of want to find something or figure out something that I could do to this wall. I don't know, the TV's in such an odd spot, as you could see, but it was pre-mounted. I can't really remove it, and of course, like, whoever's in here can watch it, but I just don't know what to do in terms of, like, styling something here, but I don't want to take up too much space because there really isn't the most space as well. This black rug has also always been in this room, but before all of this I added to it, I was like, I'm taking this out, there's no way I'm keeping this, but I actually kind of like it at the end of the bed. If I was to do anything like this, I would like the whole rug to, you know, go underneath the bed and kind of go out a little bit on each side, but I do not mind this sort of smallish rug for some reason. And I also might even put a basket right by the door area, or like right by the bathroom area right here, um, just to have like extra throw blankets in or something like that, which kind of also mounts the rug in this positioning and makes it look like it's supposed to be here, which I love that. So I'm just gonna play around with this, see what I can do with it. I also found this really cool sort of monochromatic black and white clock, which I think might look so nice just hung up here on the wall. I think that and this looks centered, right? Yep. Oh, that looks so good. So good. Wow. How do you feel? Accomplished. Okay guys, so Tezza sent me her new collage kit and this is the coastal kit. Colors are beautiful, but like I don't think they're exactly going to fit this space just because it's a lot of like coastal blue colors and like oranges and stuff. But there are some like, like this would fit, like so good and fresh. I picked these out, but I feel like I'm not really sure if it's going to fit the vibe like of course it's so beautiful and stunning which is why i wanted to share it with you guys just so in case you do want to pick one up yourself i'll link them below um i love tezza in her shop so but i don't think i'm gonna maybe use these um in this particular one i might maybe put one up somewhere like one solo i have pretty much finished the room like everything in here looks so pretty i'm so happy with it but the one thing i really want to like add is just something above the bed and i do not know what that is I just went out to my car and remembered that I have my DIY IKEA mirrored leather contraption that I created. Which, if you have not seen this on my channel, I'll put a card up here for you guys to check this out. All DIY it literally cost me like $25 to create. I thought this would look really nice up on the wall there. Um, there is this brown tone in the room and this natural wood color too. And on top of it, this mirror is literally probably like mm, a couple ounces. It is not heavy at all. This whole thing is super, super light. So. I figured it'd be nice to put above the bed and mount there for now, and then if we do want to change it in the future, it's just easily swappable. So I think I'm gonna put that up there for now. Oh, that is so, so good. good. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, the mirror looks incredible above that. Look at how pretty that looks. I'm very, very pleased with that. 
I love the brown leather on the edge of it that kind of mixes back with the warm tones in the room. The room is complete and I am going to do a little miniature reveal to James because of course he did kind of see some of the stuff that we bought for the room, but he hasn't seen anything at all about, I've been like locked up in this room all day. He hasn't seen anything about what I did to the room at all. So I'm going to share it with him in just a couple of seconds and I hope that he really likes it. This is kind of fun. I've never done anything like this. So let's see how it goes. So like I mentioned at the very beginning, this video is in partnership with Squarespace, which is so exciting. I absolutely love Squarespace because it is a website you can use to create a beautiful website or online store with award-winning templates. That's my favorite part of the website is the templates are so aesthetically pleasing, so easy to use, but also very functional for the people that do visit your website. And if you do need a little help every now and then, they do offer 24-7 customer service, which is absolutely amazing because sometimes we need that extra additional help. Whether you're a musician, a designer, an artist, a restaurant, a local shop, whatever it might be, Squarespace is a great place to design your very own website to showcase your craft. So if you would like, you can go to squarespace.com slash lonefox to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, which is absolutely amazing. And now you guys, let's get into the actual reveal. I doubt I do it first, not gonna lie. Oops, I put my phone on it. All right, guys, so that was the room makeover on James's good and fresh guest room. I hope you liked it a lot. It was really <laughs> so fun and good. fresh. So definitely thumbs up the video if you guys enjoyed it. Check out James's channel and all of his stuff is gonna be linked in the description box below. And also subscribe to my channel for new home decor and oh DIY videos God. every single week for your daily dose of DIY. And you can follow it on Instagram right here. And let Drew know if you want more home if you want, makeover yeah. videos. If you want more home makeover videos, definitely let me know in the comment section below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye. Bye.